Every filmmaker always dreams of having their very own studio that is set up just how they like it. A place where they can film, edit, relax, and that fosters creativity. And I'm no different, but ever since I started YouTube, I haven't lived anywhere with a space that I could make my own, whether it's in my parents' basement or a rental unit I couldn't change. Recently, I moved into a new place that had a space which started out as a pretty ugly, unfinished basement, but I knew that this would be the perfect starting point to turn into my dream studio. This is what I started with, a pretty ugly white concrete box, and it would need a ton of work to take it from this to a place that would actually make me want to spend time here. So, first things first, we had to paint the walls. Then it was time to build the desks. This would involve cutting, drilling, gluing, screwing, sanding, staining, and finally placing them into position. After that, I made a trip to Ikea, and I bought a ton of stuff. From there, it was time to update the lights to go from this single light bulb to these track lights. Ah, much better. Next is carpet. This would make the space much more cozy and help a ton with the echo. Then the standing desk arrived, the workbench arrived, the couch arrived, the wood veneers arrived, and you couldn't forget about the custom neon sign. But now we decided the paint was the wrong color, so we had to do a repaint. Once that was done, we hung up the gallery wall, put up the wood veneers, and just like that, it was done. So after working on this for every weekend for the last six weeks straight, what started out as a white concrete box has now been transformed into my dream studio. So I present to you my dream studio. Hello and welcome to the new TMS Productions studio. I finished building this literally a couple hours ago uh, and now I'm gonna give you guys a tour and show you guys everything that's in it. I'm extremely pleased with how it all came out. Yeah, this is awesome. This is also my first studio that I've actually had the ability to do whatever the heck I want to. This whole thing is essentially my pride and joy for the last couple months for me building it and there's some things falling off the wall, but that's okay. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna tell you about is this table here, and it is actually an electric sit-stand desk from FlexiSpot. This is the E7 Pro Plus standing desk with dark bamboo top. It has electric motors and also four programmable heights, which means you can transition between sitting and standing with just the press of a button. Uh, we are using this currently as our shooting table, and it works really well as a shooting table, and the whole reason we got it for our shooting table is because it's sit-stand desk, so I can raise it up. And if you give it a couple seconds here, there we go. Now I can do standing talking head to the camera, which is really nice and something that we've never been able to do before. But now we can because we have this sit-stand desk. It's also extremely powerful. I can sit on top of it here and then hit the up arrow and it'll lift me up. So I can just go up like this. Now, although this isn't my main desk, I do like to move around the studio to work, so I might come over to this desk here and use it while standing, and it's definitely improved my work life because now I'm not sitting in a chair for eight hours per day. So if you've never tried a standing desk before, I highly recommend it, and these things actually also have a 15-year warranty, so you're gonna have this desk for quite a long time. I'm literally gonna have this until I'm 38 years old, which is pretty crazy. And actually, FlexiSpot is having a Black Friday promotion that's happening right now, so if you use my code BFYTB at checkout, you can get yourself $30 off their E7 standing desk or even some of their desk chairs. So make sure you check out the link in the description. Okay, that's the desk. And moving right along is the uh, mega desk, if you will. Uh, I actually built this desk from scratch all by myself. I cut it, sanded it, stained it, screwed it together. Uh, it was an awesome project, but also took a ton of work. This thing is 12 feet long down the long side and then six feet on that side over there. It is a ton of table space, which is awesome because I hate not having enough table space to put things down on. So I basically solved that problem here by building my own solution. It is made with hardwood maple plywood. It is solid. You can get on these, this thing. You can dance around if you wanted to. I built it properly. Uh, it's not falling down anytime soon, which is really nice. Also, if you notice in behind here, I've got wood paneling or wood veneers. These were sent to us very nicely from the wood veneer hub. These are their Lux American Walnut acoustic wide slat panels. These are really awesome for tying the space together. Um, otherwise, behind here is white concrete. Doesn't look that great. 
put these wood veneers in. It was relatively straightforward and easy process. They come in eight foot by one foot sections and you can easily just cut them down to size to fit basically any room that you need. And they also fit together so that there are no visible seams. And very easily, I was able to add this accent wall here, really tied the entire room together. They're also acoustically absorbent, so they have sound dampening material in them, so it helps with the echo, helps with keeping the sound down, and everything like that. Okay, moving on with the tour, I thought that I would show you guys what this studio looks like from our normal talking head setup. So. This is it. I think it looks pretty cool. And I also want to touch on one other thing. As you can tell, we invested quite a bit into this studio with the paint, the lights, the desks, all the extra little gadgets. And the whole reason we did that is not just so we can make it look cool, but also so we can make better videos for you guys. But because of that, I also have one small favor to ask. Because this was a little expensive to pull off, we do have a sponsor for this video, just so we can actually do things like this. And it would mean the world to me if you didn't skip through the next 60 seconds and let me tell you about the sponsor because I think that you will enjoy what they have to offer. So this video is sponsored by Audio. Now, I don't know about you, but I absolutely hate how literally everything is turning into a subscription these days. You need subscriptions for your music, your movies, your security system in your house, even the heated seats in your car, but not today. Audio is a music licensing service that you can use to license music and sound effects for your social media posts and still be able to monetize. And Audio is also the only music licensing service available that offers a single payment lifetime subscription. This is actually the main reason why I even decided to give Audio a try because this means that I don't need to have yet another subscription. This means that with a single payment, you can get unlimited music for life for all of your videos. They have a ton of different genres, styles, moods, and also are adding more music all the time so that the catalog is constantly growing. If you're looking for a music licensing service that you only have to pay once for because literally everything is a subscription nowadays, I recommend that you check out Audio. Normally, Audio's lifetime subscription is a single payment of $4.99, but because you're watching this video right now, they're offering $300 off, which now makes it only $1.99. So if you're interested in checking out Audio, go to the top link in the description and use code TMS199 at checkout. Anyways, let's move on with the tour. This area of the desk with the green mat here is kind of the staging area. So I have my camera bag here and I have an area now where I can open up my camera bag, leave it open here, and then I can walk around the room, grab things that I need and put them in here. It's this big area where I can just lay things out and do what I need to, as well as cutting mat here in case I need to do any sort of cutting or I don't know, cutting stuff because it's a cutting mat. This lamp here is a thrift store find. We kind of went for the brass as well as wood tones for this entire studio as you can probably tell, and you'll see more of this through the rest of the tour. We've got ourselves a big map here. Found this also at a thrift store. It was an awesome find, as well as one of my favorite parts of this entire desk that I built is this guy right here, which are these tiny inlaid power strips so I can very easily plug things in. I don't have to go under the table or do anything crazy like that. They're right here. It has USB-C as well as USB-A and two power inputs, which is really awesome. And I have one here. I'm going to have another one there. I've got another one over there. So there's three across the, the whole desk there, which is awesome. And moving right along, we have uh, just some drawers down here. These are from Amazon. Uh, this is basically where I can store all of my other pens, pencils, anything else I need, notebooks, whatever. And then we get to the main attraction here, which this is my desk setup. Uh, you'll notice that I am uh, three monitors deep here, uh, triple stacked all the way up. I love this setup. I've always been a fan of the laptop as well as big monitor above the laptop because I, I actually prefer quite a bit using the uh, MacBook Pro keyboard. So yeah, I have this triple stacked setup and it's awesome. I have this lamp here on this, the main monitor here, which is this screen bar. I've actually had this for a couple of years. I love this lamp. It doesn't cast any shadows on the monitor. And also this is a fraction of the price of some of the more premium ones that you can get. And I think it's just as good. This is also an Amazon find. And then the monitor arm that's holding all three of these monitors, also from Amazon. I'll have everything linked down below if you're interested in checking any of it out. Then we got these speakers here, which are Edifier speakers. They're Bluetooth, they sound amazing. So I can 
play music and it sounds good. It doesn't sound like it's coming from this tiny little Bluetooth speaker or something. So these definitely uh, do what I need them to do and they sound great. Something that's also awesome about this setup here is it's, uh, it's all smart controlled. So if I say something like, Alexa, turn off the desk lamp. Okay. It'll turn off the desk lamp. Alexa, turn on the desk lamp. Okay. Boom, turns on the desk lamp. I can do it for all the lights. Alexa, turn the lights down to 10%. Look at that, gets dim. Alexa, turn the lights up to 100%. Okay. So I can control this entire thing using Alexa, which is really awesome. If I'm leaving or if I'm coming, it's just a couple words and the whole thing lights up. All the lamps are on smart plugs, so they all light up as well. It's really nice, I'm gonna be honest. Under my computer, I have an extra large mouse pad. This is my first time using one of these things and I really like it. It's made from this like really thick felt and it's also super soft. At the desk set up here, we have this uh, this Nixon tube clock, which is, this is something that I've also always wanted and just thought, you know what, let me get it because this is my studio and I'm gonna invest a bit of money into it. So I got this Nixon tube clock here. It's a clock, that's all it does. It tells the time. It doesn't even tell the date, but it's uh, it looks cool and that's all that matters. So, um, so that's the clock as well as the desk chair here. This is another piece of office furniture from FlexiSpot. They sent the chair as well as the desk. I've thoroughly been enjoying it over the last couple weeks that I've been using it. Okay, moving right along, we have a lamp. This is from Ikea, fake plant also from Ikea. Got a record player here from Amazon. Record players are cool, they look cool, it fit the aesthetic, so that's mainly why we got it for the studio. Moving along, we have shelf. This shelf basically just has a bunch of cameras, old cameras on it that we've been collecting over the last couple of years. And then we got this custom neon TMS sign here. This is so cool. We bought it off of Amazon as well, much like everything else in this studio, but it's custom made, makes it a little bit more unique for, uh, for our studio. Uh, down here, we've got an on-air sign also from Amazon, again, it looked cool. We thought it would be neat for the studio. That's where we got it. Lamp, thrift store. I uh, got some prints here. Prints are an awesome way to share your work and show it off. I also think that we don't print off enough of our prints as digital creators. The photos end up hitting different as well because they, uh, they just you can just see them in real life. It's kind of cool to see and not they're not just on a screen on Instagram. Moving right along, we've got a couch here. This is from Wayfair. Uh, it's not the most comfortable couch in the world, but it looks cool and it is the right color and goes with the studio. So. I don't expect too many people to be sitting on this thing. It's It does the job and that's basically it. Then we've got this coffee table here and this coffee table is actually from the dumpster outside of my house. Somebody was throwing it out and I thought that would be perfect for the studio. So here it is. Next up we have the gallery wall here and this is pretty much the main source of inspiration for the aesthetic for this entire studio. Uh, Steven and I both thought it'd be super cool to have a uh, kind of a wall where you can put your trinkets and your collectibles that we've collected over the last couple of years uh, through all your adventures and things like that. So we've got a whole bunch of different things. I got a $2 American bill. Kind of neat. Some of these things are also from the thrift store. This this photo is of no significance to me. It just looked cool. It's from a thrift store. Actually got some other prints that we've taken up here. I've got a, uh, a little life preserver here from my grandfather's boat called the Sandpiper. Perfect little addition. Got ourselves a green car here, as well as this is probably my favorite piece. Even though it is falling off the wall, I do have to fix this normally. This sticks here and this goes here and then this shoe goes here. But this shoe is the shoe that we filmed the commercial for when we filmed a commercial for Nike. And this is the Tom Sachs GPS or general purpose shoe. Got flown to New York City for a week and filmed the commercial for this shoe. It ended up not getting aired, but I'm not salty about that at all. Anyways, have myself uh, one of the shoes here. It's kind of a cool little memory. I got an ax here because you never know when things might turn south. Also kind of looks cool. And then another awesome addition here is another Tom Sachs related item. And this was a, this is a Tom Sachs NASA branded Leatherman. This is probably the most expensive thing in this room. And it is also the, probably the one of the rarest. There's only a hundred of these in the world. And Steven and I have two of them, which is really cool. And both got them gifted from Tom Sachs himself when we helped 
him out with an art show a couple years ago. So that, that is an addition to the studio that is very unique, very rare and kind of neat to display. Then we got the classic 100,000 subscriber play button. Nothing more needs to be said. Yay, 100,000, awesome. Moving along, we got a blanket, we got uh, a lamp. And then this right here is another thrift store find. This was a score of a thrift store find. Uh, this Ansel Adams print, uh, I think I picked the shoe just fell off the wall. But I think I picked this thing up for about $17. And when I saw it, I knew I had to just grab it. I didn't care how much it really cost it, but ended up being relatively cheap. It's uh, Yosemite National Park, and it makes the perfect addition to the studio. Now, moving right along here, we've got a fake plant. This is also from Ikea, much like all the other fake plants in here, because there's no windows in here and there's no sunlight. So if I had a real plant, it would just die in a matter of weeks. Next up, we have the workstation. Now at the core of the workstation is a Husky tool chest that's on wheels. And this thing is so awesome if you're a filmmaker uh, because you can sort everything. You have really nice drawers. They're all on rails and sliders. So it's nice and smooth and you can store everything you need in this and keep it all organized. I'm going to be honest, it's not the most organized right now, but is awesome for sorting and storage and things like that. It's also on wheels so I can move it out of the way if I wanted to, I need a bit more room. Then I've got battery chargers for both a drill as well as cameras. I've got a vice over here because, you know, we like to build rigs and things like that and you need to build things with vices and stuff like that. So we got a vice there. We've also got this articulating lamp, uh, another fake plant, and then we got a pegboard. And this is, uh, this is really handy for all the tools that you might need. Again, if we're building rigs or building up basically anything else, I've got a bunch of tools here at the ready. And I've also got a bunch more in the drawers of the tool chest. I got a light above because you need to see what you're doing. And I think that's basically the entire studio carpeted the studio with carpet underlay, which is really nice. It makes it nice and uh, cozy in here. Honestly, a dream studio. I can film, I can edit, I can do everything in one spot as well as store my gear, as well as build rigs, as well as basically do whatever else I need to do. Uh, and it's awesome to have a dedicated space for doing exactly that. And before I let you go, make sure you check out the sponsor for this video, which is audio. There's gonna be a link in the description where you can get yourself $300 off their lifetime subscription. Anyways, if you're new here, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe because it really helps us out. Also comment what your favorite part of the studio is because I'm curious and I just wanna, I wanna see what you guys think. Anyways, with that being said, that's all for this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Okay, bye.